rigs and techniques is what we do here at the workbench and Dave it's yes, time sir. so what are we doing we're going micro yeah they're you know we're gonna talk a little bit about these little micro jigs here uh, they're they're great baits for when you have a cold front come through and the fish have, have calmed down or even wintertime fishing or really clear water fishing it's when you need to get finesse you know when you, you need to drop down in your line size you need to do whatever you can to get a bite well, these little jokers here have proven that they can do that all the time. Not only just when I was talking about, but these things are really good little uh, little fish catchers. And what what differentiate dif what keeps them apart from just a regular old swim jig or another big jig is you know not only are they really small, you know they're usually between one sixteenth ounce and up to three sixteenths of an ounce, you know, uh, even smaller. And you know these came from Japan it started over there like a lot of the things that we do for bass fishing um, but you know they'll even use them down to 164 size I mean really tiny ones and I really couldn't get any tiny ones because they're all sold out oh, everywhere no you kidding. go you're trying to get these little micro jigs these are the the smallest ones I could get and you know they're the, on the uh, on the bigger side um, you know they have well, another thing about them is they have very fine skirts you'll notice and they have a really strong hook for the size. It's a thin wire hook, but it's a strong hook. So it can hold, you know, it can hold a big bass when you hook a big bass. It's a great, it's a great uh, idea behind all the fishing that you do. The thinner hook that you can use, the better it penetrates and the better hookup you're gonna have. 100%. And, the, and the less amount of force it's gonna cause, you have to put on the line to penetrate. And once they get in, you know, you're, you're so golden. So being that you're downsized here, mm -hmm. The tackle, you're not throwing this on a bait caster with no. a 30 pound braid. No, no, it's, it's. So what this do you is like, suggest? This is like six to eight pound, or six to 10 pound at the very top. I think that we have eight pound diamond line on here. Uh, so, you know, on a seven foot rod, you want something, a rod long enough to, so you can throw these little jigs a long way. And when you fish them back, you know, you just want to fish them just like a, you want them to sink, you want them to go all the way to the bottom, you know, hop them back is a good way to do it. You know, just like real slow dragging it on the bottom is a great way to fish them. Or you can fish it like a swim bait or a chatter bait. You know, throw it out to and let it sink to the, your desired depth where you've been watching things, you know, on your sounder where you're seeing fish. And you just slowly just with this nice steady retrieve at that depth. And that'll trigger strikes on those little jigs too. Yeah. So this mm. light, medium, the light uh, battalion, pin battalion with right. the little reels, perfect for it. It is. It, it, that's a perfect setup, actually, because, you know, eight pound that, test. You, what you want to do is you want to see, see a lot of people when they're, they're really afraid of breaking the line when they get down to six, eight pound test line because they're used to using all that real heavy stuff now, the braid. But if you set your drag properly, and how I do it is I'll get it down to where I pretty close to where I want it and I'll put my jig on the dock and I'll jerk on it and what I want it to do is at the end of that jerk I want it to bleed just a little bit of drag mm. just enough just to so won't so so that I'm not too light and not getting a good hook set but hard enough that I pull a little drag at the very top of the, at you know as once once I'm That's at, the, good at the heart yeah because a lot of a lot of guys are you know it, it's not going to break if your drag set properly so I noticed there's <laughs> some over here Dave no well, skirts. Yeah, exactly. Well, the whole reason behind that I, I thought, hey, these little micro jigs will work is because my experience with this Roadrunner right here, the Roadrunner and the Bass Assassin Crappy Dapper, I use that thing trying to catch crappy, you know, and or specs or whatever you want to call them, and I kept catching big bass on it. Hmm. Just over and over again. Oh damn! I know exactly. <laughs> it was. It was. A, and I kept thinking, man, I'm going to start throwing this thing more often just w when I can't get a bite. And sure enough, uh, that and the little Ned there that you had in your hand, that that little Ned rig there, those things just they work great. I I I, I think that they think they're little minnows or whatever. Yeah. And they just they just got to have them. So. You know, it's so funny whether it's bass fishing or saltwater fishing. When they have difficult fish, if you downsize more often than not, Correct. you get a bite. Great. Yeah, and Great. not only that, they stay on. Great segment. Great segment.